Okay, so I'm going to walk you through adding a image slider to your web page. So I'm using this uh, basic web design page and I'm going to add um, a slick slider, so slick carousel. You can find this on Google, just Google slick carousel and you'll get this uh, website. Okay, so let's go along to the get it now button and this tells us how to add it to our web page. Okay, so I'm going to download it. So this has downloaded a zip file, so I need to extract that zip file and I get a folder. Okay, so inside the folder is a load of rubbish here. But there's another folder called Slick and this has got all the stuff that I need. Okay, so what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to, I'm going to put this folder into my web folder. So I find my web folder. I just drag this into here. So let's look through the instructions under usage. Okay, so it says here, getting started, set up your HTML markup. So I'm gonna copy this and paste it into my HTML page. So I'm going to find somewhere for it to go. Uh, it can go there. Okay. And what I want to do right now is just change the contents of these to some images. Okay. So I'm going to do IMG. So these are each slide. So I'm going to copy the project path of a picture. I'm going to put three pictures in. IMG Okay, so I've got three images. If I just save that and reload my page, we'll see I've got three pictures here, one after another. But the JavaScript is going to make those into a slider. So let's get back to the instructions. So it says here, move the slick folder to your project. I've just done that right at the beginning. Next step, add slick CSS to your head. So I'm going to copy these. And paste them into the head. Right here. Okay, just get rid of this line here. We don't need that. So this is just um, linking through to the slick CSS and the slick theme CSS. Next step, add slick JS before the closing body tag and the jQuery. So I'm going to copy these. Copy and I'm going to go right down to the bottom before the closing body tag and paste these in. Okay, so I just need to look at these because I've spotted um, on the SRC of these two, these are linking to external um, JS files. Uh, these need to start with HTTP because we're not on a web server, so they won't work unless you put the HTTP colon before those forward slashes. I can save this. Okay, and we'll look at the next step. Initialize your slider. So what I'm going to do is copy this. I'm going to put it after these scripts. I'll just write script and then paste that inside the script tag. Okay. So what this is doing is it's uh, initializing the script, the slick script, and it's initializing it on the uh, item with this class name. So dot your dash class is this thing up here. So it's class equals your dash class. So I can change that if I want to. I'm just going to leave it. And then we've got a line here, which I need to remove actually, because it's going to mess things up. But this is where we put the settings. And we'll look at the settings in a bit. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to reload my page. And now I've got a slider here. Okay. Uh, there are actually some little buttons here, but they're white, so you can't really see them very well. Okay, so I'm going to have a look at the settings. So I'll go over to settings, 
Uh, there's various things we can do here. So we can set auto play. Uh, we can turn the arrows on or off. So I'm going to turn the arrows off. So here I'm going to say arrows false. Save this. And we'll have a look at this. It's going to turn those navigation arrows off. But then I can also add dots. So if you look down here, dots. So we can turn dots on, set that to true. So I'm going to put a comma in here, say dots, true, and save. Oops. Reload, and I get the dots at the bottom. I'm going to do comma, autoplay, true, and save. And it should auto play. There we go. And that's a slider.